In the heart of our modern world, where dreams are pursued and fortunes are made, lies an uncharted journey, the journey toward mastering the essentials of personal finance. It is a journey often left unexplored, as many of us are not taught these fundamental principles in school. To navigate this path effectively, we must first reflect on our own relationship with money. Understanding our money habit is crucial, as it reveals patterns we might be unaware of, such as impasse buying and unnecessary spending. These patterns often result in negative cash flow, a disconnect between what we earn and what we spend. So, let's dive into the essentials of personal finance that will empower us to manage our money effectively. Budgeting is the foundation. It is a strategic planning process used by individuals, families, business and governments to manage income and expenses. It helps individuals and business to trace their financial performance, which is crucial for decision making. To create an effective budget, start by understanding your monthly income. This often represents your salary and any other side incomes. Then understand your fixed expenses. These are costs that don't change from month to month, like rents and utilities. Then understand your variable expenses. These are costs that can change from month to month, like entertainment and groceries. Then understand your financial goals. Choose a good budgeting method that suits your needs and you will create a lifestyle that enables saving and investing. Savings are your financial safety net. It is what is left after subtracting expenses from your income. It represents a net surplus of fund for an individual or household after all expenses and obligations have been paid. The first stepping stone to understanding saving involves understanding the realities of money management and adopting healthy financial habits. Why is this so important? It is because there is a lot of misconception about saving. This misconception deters people from saving. Some people believe that it is hard to save money. The more money I will have, the happier I will become. It doesn't matter if I save, I will never feel secure. It is better to invest than to save. I am too young to save, I don't earn enough. I will never grow my money, leaving it to the bank. But the reality is, having money doesn't insulate you from life challenges. So, you need to focus on how to allocate funds to cover your needs, wants, and future aspirations. Understanding the principles of compound interest is very important. This is because it will show you how money can grow in your bank account. Saving money can give you peace of mind because it can make you feel in control of your finances. Therefore, you should start saving early no matter how small the amount is. Even small contribution can add up. Investments are your path to wealth accumulation. This is the action or process on investing money for profit or material gain. It is a thing that is worth buying because it may be profitable or useful in the future. Investments are very essential in the process of accumulation of wealth, but there are some misconceptions that hinders people from paying this part. Often people think that you should pay your debt before you start investing. You need to get rich to invest. Investing is about frantically trading stock, that is, buying and selling every day or every week. But the truth is, you should use your emotional intelligence by reflecting on your feelings about investment. You should respond to your issues related to money strategically. This is because investment can help you build your wealth and feel more secure. Plan for your early retirement. It can help you stay ahead of inflation and earn multiple streams of income. Debt Management a way to get your debt under control through financial planning and budgeting. The goal of a debt management plan is to use this strategy to help you lower your current debt and move towards eliminating it. 
It is about understanding the difference between good and bad debt. Good debt can put your money in your pocket, but bad debt takes it away. For example, you can take credit to finance an investment property that generates rental income, covering your expenses and providing extra cash each month. That's considered good debt. Bad debt is using debt to buy depreciating items like car, vacations, big screen and many more. The goal of this documentary is not to philosophize or encourage people to get into debt but to help them shift their mindset from to educating them about debt. Fear of debt being financially literate means using other people capital wisely to grow your wealth, they effectively managing cash by controlling expenses and utilizing assets pay that debt. In conclusion, mastering personal finance is not only about amassing wealth, but also about gaining control over your financial future. By practicing responsible money management, setting financial goals, and continuously educating ourselves, we can embark on a journey toward financial security and prosperity. Remember, your financial dreams are within reach, and with dedication, you can turn them into reality. So, start your journey today.